Welcome to Intel Form program, simple mass modeling. First, we need to define contour of our mass. It can be chosen from a list of predefined contours. These contours can be rectangles, circles, prismatoids, or any polygons. Chosen contour can be easily modified. By default, program generates axes passing through all contour vertexes. This axis can be moved graphically or by entering manually the coordinate and all vertexes will be automatically adjusted to them. We can also easily change a number of contour vertexes. To add points, we simply select an appropriate vertex and increase number of points by one or more. Points are automatically added on the next edge. Later, they can be moved to required position graphically or by entering manually the coordinate. To delete point, one should select it and decrease number of points. Later, contour can be rescaled by defining scaling coefficients for x and y direction. For any mass, we can switch on or off corner columns. It is also possible to do it independently for each vertex. This task is performed in small dedicated viewer, simply by clicking required points. Each contour edge can be independently parameterized with structural elements like beams, columns, walls, and so on. We can select chosen contour lines in inspector tree or graphically in 2D viewer. Here I select three lines, define the wall for them and change material. Next, I do the same for another contour line. For walls, we can also assign different elevations, which describes openings, dimensions, and location. User may choose from predefined elevations or define new ones. It is presented on another film. For next few contour lines, I show how to define railings. One can define its height, post spacing and section, handrail section and railing material. Strat is the next element which can be assigned to contour line. They can be defined in contour edge plane or perpendicular to it. Struts are generated in places where columns are defined. One can define diagrids. It is sufficient just to enable them and later we can change their number or assign characteristics like section and material. Now quite interesting feature. So far contours were defined using only straight lines. Now we can change any line into curved line. Here I choose predefined line shape. I change curve height and choose another shape. Now I enable middle columns for this line and set their number. By default they are generated at equal distances. User can later enter any relative columns positions. There are a few predefined curves, but it is also possible to parameterize line with any curve, which can be easily modified to required shape. All defined structural elements will be automatically adjusted. For all contour lines, I define beams. They are located at the upper level of each story. Now I change mass total height and define stories simply by entering the number. As previously, all defined structural elements will follow these settings. On 3D view, one can display mass shape, analytical model, and real model with sections. All these modes can be freely mixed. Thank you for your attention.